What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your friends Cole and Jay hanging out with you today and today is actually the day before Valentine's Day. Originally we planned to film a video on Valentine's Day but the weather forecast didn't really look like it was going to be great weather for tomorrow. Like super windy and kind of cold. And today we have pretty good weather. We have as awesome weather. Yeah, as compared to what we have been having for the last few days. It's been cold and miserable. But today it's going to get into the 60s. The sun is going to shine. And uh, we're hoping that we can get outside and, you know, do some fun outdoor activities today. So today, in honor of Valentine's Day, we are going to be going out and doing what we love to do the most, which is being out on the water, going fishing, and... I don't know, maybe maybe we'll find a critter or something to catch. Maybe. It's nice and sunny. There could be a snake up on the shore. But the first agenda for today is to go out and go fishing. But the style of fishing we are going to be doing today is a little bit different than what we usually do, and that is yo-yo fishing. We have a bunch of yo-yos. They're little automatic fishing systems. And since the water is up really high and really muddy, um, we just decided that we would hang these yo-yos up, put some live bait on them, and just you know kind of spread them out in the trees and just try to locate some fish today. We're targeting uh, crappie. Okay and catfish primarily. So hopefully we can bring some catfish and crappie home for a fish fry at a later date. And uh, let's just get after it. You ready to go fishing? I'm ready. Let's go do it. Okay guys, so we're at our first tree. We're, we're gonna be baiting this whole big section of flooded cypress trees and water tupelos. And uh, here is our yo-yo. So I'm just looking for a good branch. I tied a loop on the end of my string just so I can just thread my yo-yo back on there. It should be easy for me to, oops. So it'd be easy for me to get the yo-yo on and off the tree whenever I'm picking them up. But basically, the function is, you see it has a, it has a spring coil inside of the yo-yo, which is gonna yank that fish out of the water once it gets hooked. So to set it, we're gonna pull it out to the depth we want. And there's these little notches here on the yo-yo. There's a little lever here. Place it in front of that notch, and it's set. When a fish bites it, it pops it off, hooks it. Okay, so I got some minnows. Woo. Got a bucket full of minnows. I'm gonna hook him right below his dorsal fin. And we're gonna set it. All right. Now we just wait. He's gonna swim around. He's, if he does a good job, he should be getting eaten some time between now and the next hour or so. Hopefully there's some fish moving in here. We're really, we're really banking on this high water to get these fish moving back over here because it's been pretty shallow over here the last couple months. And these fish are gonna be curious. The crappie might be even thinking about staging up and spawning in these trees. So fingers crossed we get on a mega school of crappie out here. All right. Before we get too far in this and give a big shout out to my, to my dad for hooking us up with all these yo-yos, hopefully the inaugural outing with these yo-yos will bring us some luck. Some beggins, slabs, talking bigger than the paddle. I got Jessica paddling me back in. We got the yo-yos baited up. And we're fixing to start walking up and down the bank over here, see if we can find any little critters hanging out in the sunshine. It's not really sunny anymore, but it has been sunny. And hopefully there'll be maybe a snake or two or even a turtle hanging out on the bank for Jessica to catch. That's what she wants, right Jay? That's what I want. She wants to catch a snake today. The odds aren't really in our favor, but it is definitely a possibility. And as you can see, the lake is up pretty high and we're kind of thinking that maybe with the water being high, that it could have washed some of these snakes out of some of their hibernating holes. This is just a stretch where we've always known these snakes to hibernate. And uh, around this time of year, when we get some high water or a nice day, sometimes they come out. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we're just looking. Hopefully we see something, otherwise it's gonna be awkward. All right guys, check this out. 
right below me, I see a snake's tail. Not even kidding, guys. I thought I heard a fish. Okay, there's a snake right here. Oh my gosh. Dude. Is it, what is it? Is it alive? No, it's dead. <gasps> no. Guys, check this out. What? We found our snake. Let me, let me, let me, let me rinse him off a little bit. What the heck, guys? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's really sad. <laughs> found a dead snake. This is the species that we were actually expecting to find. This is a, a, a Mississippi green water snake, Nerodia cyclopean. And they're kind of like an early uh, season emerger. And uh, unfortunately, this one is dead. So like I said, we had a bunch of rain. And then we had some really, really cold, like really frigid, like it was below freezing for a couple of days. So. Maybe this snake got flushed from its home and then froze up. I don't know. Definitely there's probably hibernating right here in these railroad ties. Uh, there's probably one in there, alive somewhere. But this dude is definitely dead. Well, that is That's not what I wanted to find. <laughs> so, I thought we had a snake. <laughs> Aww. Dang it. Okay, well, at least there are some snakes in the area. This one, unfortunately, like I said, is dead. So, I'm just going to... Rest in peace. Rip. All right, oh. let's uh, continue looking down here. He didn't really smell bad, but dang, <laughs> there's a turtle. There's a duck. A duck. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 All right, let me check underneath the stock. What? Just said she's got one. I'm coming. What is it? Mississippi green. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Look at him, guys. Look at that. Oh wow, guys. Check it. Good find, Jay. This is awesome. Yeah, that's a Mississippi green water snake. Go ahead and catch him. He's probably Hopefully. not gonna do a whole lot. Hopefully he'll be nice. He'll be nice? Ooh. Okay. All right. Hey, buddy. He's oh. Still, oh, oh. <laughs> this one is very much alive, guys. <laughs> Check that, and he's grumpy. Oh gosh, please. Oh my goodness. Hang on, let's just let's just smile at the camera. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Check it out. Check First it out. find of the year. That's awesome. I thought we would find one today. Yeah. That's fantastic. That is the Mississippi green water snake and they are known like we said a minute ago they're like one of the earliest snakes to emerge in the springtime given a warm day and they are stunning i don't know if we've no i don't know if we've ever featured one of these on the channel no before. i think this is the very first time awesome awesome so this is a totally aquatic snake well they come up on land to bask like this one obviously was doing it's a warm day the sun was shining really bright earlier it's kind of cloudy now but he was probably up here just basking and just enjoying the warm weather because it has been frigid the last couple of days <laughs> Good spot, Jay. So he was just coiled really? up right there? Yeah. And then he spotted me, and I was trying to be really sneaky, and then he, as you were coming over, he was starting to take off towards the water. Wow. All right, guys, we're about to send you back. It's crazy to think that you can catch a snake in the middle of wintertime. It's literally Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. This is awesome. All right, so let's place him back by this tree. Be a good spot. I'm gonna get a couple shots of him after she places him back right there. All right, buddy, see you later. That was exciting. I cannot wait till the weather gets even warmer and we just catch more snakes and more snakes and more snakes. But remember guys, like if you do not know how to identify snakes, do not try to grab them because you never know, you might grab the wrong one and that would be awful. You want him buddy? You want him? Oh my gosh. I said thank you. Okay, so this is a little bit random and a little bit off topic, but if you remember from some of our earlier summer uploads, we have raised a bunch of moths and caterpillars in our house. And uh, for some reason, this guy decided he wanted to emerge early this year. Look at him. Look how beautiful that banded sphinx moth is. So here's the, here's the pupa right here. And that one still has a moth in it. But this guy decided that it, he was ready. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if it's a good time to release him. But that's pretty cool. 
Let's go see if we got skunked, Jay. I hope we didn't get skunked. We decided that we're gonna take the yo-yos down regardless if we caught any fish or not because it's, it's only gonna get it's windy. It's getting really windy. It's supposed to be really windy tomorrow and it's gotten really cold too. Yeah, just out of nowhere. It was so <laughs> Out of warm. nowhere. All right, let's push her in. The $250 rig. It's not for sale. <laughs> I'm gonna bring a bucket because I am, I'm confident. Let me say it's Whoa, we did it. <laughs> okay, we are almost to the fishing spot and we can already tell y'all that we did not get skunked. I don't know what that is. Is that a catfish or is it a big crappie? I think it's a big crappie. Oh, I hope it's a big crappie. Oh, it's a crappie. Please be a slab. Yeah, baby. Please be a slab. Come on, baby. Here, look guys. Oh yeah, it's a crappie. First fish. This is our second line that we set out. It is a crappie, isn't it? Dang it. It's a white bass. It's a little white bass. The good news is, the good news is he's alive still. We have the yo-yo set low enough so the fish could be breathing in the water. He's doing all right. it! I got so hyped for a second, but we did not get skunked. Shut up dogs. We're trying a video. Woohoo. Yeah, I'm gonna let this guy go, make sure he's good. Yeah. Oh. He gone. He's good. Moving on. Nope. 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 Uh oh. Oh gosh. We got one right here and we got one in the woods. Got one in the woods? Oh, here's a kitty cat. Ooh. Channel cat. He ain't that bad sized. He might come off. Oh. He's a good catfish. Is he? Yeah. Oh, wow. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Check it out. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I thought he was tiny. Heck yeah, barely hooked. Look at that. Awesome. Just came right out. <laughs> hey, that's what we were after. We were after crappie and catfish today. And we got our first catfish. There might be another catfish in there. That's exciting. We're gonna toss him in the boat. Actually, I'm tossing his bucket behind me. Awesome, awesome. All right, all right, all right. We're not taking any chances. This is a large sized catfish. Is he huge? He's really big. Oh my gosh. I'm we, ha so... we have this net and uh, there's no reason not to use it. <laughs> so go on ahead, Jay. Get closer. Get oh, closer. Oh, 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 I don't, I don't have the paddle. We're close here, you got that big old net. Wait for him to come back up. Oh, this is tense. <laughs> Come on, fish. You can probably grab the line and pull up. Not that line. Oh, okay. Got him! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Ali! Heck yeah, that's a this nice one. This is a one. nice one! That's like a five pounder. He might even be bigger than that. Hook came out. Came out? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hey. That's why we use the net. <laughs> we don't ever use the net. <laughs> but we had it with us today for just some random reason. And Jay's got a big old catfish. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that bruiser. Big old catfish. Yes. Awesome. On that the yo-yo. That is what we came for today. Nice. Look at this. He's got giant whiskers. He does have big whiskers. Yes. All right, guy. You are going home with us. Carol's going to be so excited. <laughs> Granny said, you better catch some fish on them yo-yos for me. <laughs> and I think we did, that's a big catfish. This is big. True story guys, we almost didn't even put this yo-yo up right here. <laughs> we weren't even gonna bait this hole, but we decided to, and look, it prevailed. Giant catfish. Giant catfish. Not giant catfish, but definitely a, definitely a nice eating sized channel cat. In the trees. In the trees. In the trees. Woo! Nice. Another solid channel catfish is gonna know it's about a two pound channel cat. On the yo-yo. Easy pickings, guys. Awesome. We're doing big things, Cole. We're doing big things out here tonight. We were so scared we weren't gonna catch anything just because of just because of the weather. And we were bummed that we weren't that we weren't gonna be able to keep our yo-yos out all night and run them periodically just because the weather's supposed to be getting bad. But hey. We're making the best of it. We've got three fish. And uh, there might be more. We still have several yo-yos to check. 
Are you kidding me, guys? Look at this. We got another one. <laughs> Our fourth channel cat. Get him, Jay. All right, let's see that fish, Jay. He's light colored. Yeah. That's nice cold. Pretty good. Yeah. He's really light. He's growling, too. He's meowing. He's meowing. He's a kitty cat. <laughs> Another He's awesome like eating guys. size fish. What? There's another awesome eating yeah. size fish. He's this unlike the others, this one is this one was hooked really good. Got him off? Got him. Alright, you can send him down there with the other one in the net. Look at the size comparison. <laughs> wow. That one just was put in like a two pounder. That one that the first one she caught is at least a five. At least. Oh yeah. It's getting late. Heard some splashing, found the yo-yo, and there's another catfish attached to it. <laughs> another channel cat. I think he's so good, I'm just going for it. Woo, that's a pretty good one. He is another good one. Fatty. Awesome, got spring peepers peeping in the background. Spring is on the way, guys. You see him, Jay? Yeah, barely. <laughs> <laughs> there's our fifth catfish of the day. I'm just gonna send back to my bucket. Okay, I'm gonna get this yo-yo untied off the tree, and then we're gonna head back to the house. All right, guys, there are our five channel cats that we got from the lake this afternoon. We decided to put them in the live box today, and uh, we're gonna deal with them tomorrow. So sit tight, fish. Let's go back in the house, Jay. All right, so we're back in the house. That was super exciting, catching those catfish tonight. But tonight, we're not gonna be eating catfish for dinner. And Jay and I didn't want you guys thinking that just because we don't celebrate Valentine's Day the conventional way, that we don't celebrate it at all. So what we're doing here in the kitchen is I am whipping up a romantic Valentine's Day dinner. And tonight I'm going to be whipping up Jay some super tasty fried deer steaks. Here's a couple of backs, little pieces of bag strap, a couple pieces of tenderloin. Yes, this was a deer that I harvested this year and no, it was not a gigantic deer based on the little tenderloins here, but that's okay. It's gonna be tender, it's gonna be delicious. Okay, so I'm just gonna start off, I'm just gonna slice these dudes up nice and thin. The little steaks. Bag of flour here, and we're adding some Tony Shasheries to the flour. This is just my standard basic uh, deer steak, fried deer steak mix that I like. Mix that all together. All right. Okay, we're mixed. Now I need a couple of eggs. Gonna moist a couple of eggs up. Gotta be using cage-free, guys. Got to. Got to use cage-free on Valentine's Day. Got to. You want to get a good, generous coating of this egg yolk, this whisked egg all over the deer steak. Now we're working on the second most important part of the dinner, some freshly cooked carrots. Just slicing them up. Don't hate on my chopping technique. I'm just trying to be romantic. So I'm going to slide these things over in here. I got my little station ready for my deer steaks. I'm gonna start cooking the carrots first because they're gonna take a little bit longer. Here's my little mixture for the carrots. Okay, basically we're gonna drizzle some olive oil on there, so let me go on ahead and do that. Parsley flakes. Gotta have some parsley flakes, oh gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna stir that around a little bit. Leaf oregano. Got to have it. I'm telling you guys, this is a secret recipe. I'm letting the cat out of the bag tonight for every one of you guys so you can make a romantic Valentine's Day meal like myself, cooking carrots, okay. You saw the Tony Shasheries, now we're breaking out the cavenders, okay. We went Creole, now we're going Greek. I think the Greeks created seasonings, right? All right, 
Now we're gonna have to wait like a million years for our stove top to heat up because it's just ridiculous all the time. You have to put it on high to get it to do anything and that's just not right. We're gonna cap it and let those babies cook. The other two pieces of our romantic dinner are not as labor intensive. Breaking out the bushes and the four cheese instant, instant potatoes, okay? <laughs> Easy. Oops. What? Let me, just, let me just shut that for you. Yeah. It wasn't me. Yeah, I it think it was. It wasn't me. I think it was. Okay, so that's gonna be our meal. Get this heating. We're gonna drop some deer steaks in there once these kind of get going a little bit. Here we go. Oh yeah. Everything's coming together. Y'all remember when I said you have to turn the, the uh, stove top on high to get to do anything? Well, for some reason that plate got super hot. I was not paying attention. And uh, yeah. You burning them! Well, I'm not really burning them, I don't think, but they're cooking way away from that burn plate right now. <laughs> oh, that sucker cool off. That's the first time it's ever happened in the house. I think that I'm buckling under the pressure of filming and just trying to make the most romantic dinner for my wife <laughs> that I can on Valentine's Day. It's burnt. It's not burnt. I promise today. It it's not burnt. And the good news is even if those four pieces are burnt, there's still like another 16 or so in the bag that aren't burnt. It's good. We're good. We're good. Okay, we got everything under control now. This is all good. This is the way it's supposed to be. My little my little mishap is behind us and we're gonna cook some good deer steaks now. Okay, so while I'm working on my romantic dinner, Jessica would like to share with you um, a piece of Cole and Jay history, one of my most romantic moments of all time. We've been each other's Valentines for three years now, but the first time you asked me to be your Valentine, oh my gosh, hopefully I can like pop this picture up. This is so cute. Okay, so I had like a weird addiction to chapstick and Every time Cole and I were hanging out, I was like constantly putting chapstick on. I think he thought it was weird. Didn't you think it was weird? I thought it was weird. Sorry. But anyways, he got me some chapstick. He got me some Burt's Bees chapstick. And then he wrapped it up a little note that said, Be my Valentine. Kind of punny. And there is the little note. <laughs> and I still have the note. I, I don't really it. like puns. Just to like puns. We, hadn't, we didn't know each other for very long. <laughs> so I just went with it. And it worked. But now here we are. Three years later. Just in here, hanging out in the kitchen. You're making me a romantic burnt dinner. It's not burnt. <laughs> it's slightly dark. Here, I'm gonna get I'm a little taste kidding. test. Yeah, say it's burnt again. You won't get none. It's delicious. All right, back to cooking. Jay, I've got the table set. Come on. Ooh, you got a candle? You bet I got a candle. <laughs> Sweet tea? Heck yeah. Oh, my favorite. Thanks, Cole. You're welcome. You're literally the best. I appreciate that. <laughs> You're the best. And I know this is going to be good because Cole's a really good cook. I got really lucky when I found Cole. I found a guy who could fish and who could really cook. So, lucky me. Man, that's good. Mmm. Thank you. You're welcome. I know we had a little mishap earlier in the kitchen, but we should... overcame the adversity and we created a nice meal. Let's take a look at the plate. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. I'm tired of watching Jay eat. I'm going to put the camera down. We're going to eat our dinner and then we'll touch base with you guys when we get done. Guys, we're, we're done with dinner. We're hanging out on the couch now. I'm about to watch some TV and just unwind for the rest of the night. We've had a big day. We've a had fun a, day. a fun day and a successful day. Valentine's Day, you should always do what you love. Yes. And that's what we did. With with the person you love the most. So that's what we did. We had an awesome day. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button for us. Leave some comments below letting us know what your favorite part of today's upload was. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time we post a new video. You don't want to miss out. The weather's starting to get nice. And the uploads are about to get crazier. It's about to get wild. We're, We're Cole and Jay, Jay. And we'll see you on the next episode. Happy Valentine's Day!